Honor Club, where honor is real. He is as physically and mentally ready as any athlete perhaps we have ever seen walking in to a championship opportunity. Nigel McGinnis has joined us here in his ROH Matchmaker. I know that you have been torn emotionally by these two in their journey to tonight. Very much so. The history between these two, well, you've seen it all here tonight. Question remains, will Kyle O'Reilly be the best thing or the worst thing to ever happen to Adam Cole? Now, after everything that has happened between these two, Nigel, you were put in a very tough situation earlier this week, and you made a 11th hour decision about this match. Absolutely. At the end of the day, Kyle O'Reilly came to me and he said, look, I can't be held accountable for what I'm going to do to Adam Cole. We've seen before Adam Cole try to hold on to that belt by getting disqualified. So the rules are out in this one. No disqualifications. We're going to see a winner and a loser. Baby! I'll get it one of these days. We've seen it all on Final Battle tonight. This is going to be something for the ages. Mark my words. Did we see what I thought we saw a few moments ago? What? The video that played with the young bucks. And... Yeah. I wasn't hallucinating, <laughs> was I? Well, this is Diet Mountain Dew I'm drinking, right? Well, you know, I wanted, I wanted us to have fun tonight. I think he smiled at me. There is no better way to wrap up 2016 than with the Ring of Honor World Championship. No better contest to have than Adam Cole versus Kyle O'Reilly. And we're inside the Hammerstein Ballroom. The scene is set. And for the World Championship introductions, let's go to Bobby Cruz. Following contest is your final battle, main event. It is oh. scheduled for one fall, and it is for the Ring of Honor World Championship. And this match is now no disqualification. Anything goes. Introducing first to my right, the challenger, wrestling out of St. Louis, Missouri, weighing 207 pounds, Kyle O'Reilly. His opponent to my left, wrestling out of Panama City, Florida, weighing 207 pounds. He's representing the Bullet Club, and he's the Ring of Honor World Champion, Adam Cole. With the introductions complete, let's look at the tail of the tape, the championship tail of the tape. Nigel, it really is, again, virtual mirror images of one another. Absolutely. These guys' careers have already gone hand in hand from the very beginning. Just a few years ahead there for O'Reilly, but beyond that, very evenly matched, though. In the mind, though, I think they have very two different game sets here. I think if I'm Kyle O'Reilly, I stick with my ground and pound. I stick with that. I don't want to get the anger get the better of me. I think, I think that's going to be his mistake. I think you're absolutely right, Nigel. I believe that Kyle O'Reilly's game plan throughout the last few months, creating this hybrid style of professional wrestling, attacking multiple body parts, could be the key here. But he has to keep his temper, his, his temper in check. Hashtag Cole versus O'Reilly on social media. 
The fact that he came to me and said this needs to be a no DQ as much for himself as for Adam Cole, I think speaks volumes. Oh, here we go. And you can really feel the atmosphere in here. I can tell you from experience at the beginning of a World Championship match, there's nothing like it. Nerves are electric. Everyone's on the edge of their seat. No one wants to make that first mistake. There you go. Arm strikes. Perfectly legal. Oh. There we are, straight into the arm. That can be it. No. Change the angle of that straight away. Oh, stomping him. Both these athletes sponsored by Suplex Apparel. Shout out to Joel Allen. Yeah, and again, it's a, a feather in their cap because they've been sponsored by Suplex Apparel for quite a while, both Cole and O'Reilly. Oh, try it again. Oh. oh. Now in a no rules scenario. There's no five count, yep. surely. So O'Reilly can hang on to that for as long as he wants. Let me ask you this, fellas. I didn't actually talk to Carl when I talked to him earlier. His shoulder. You think there's still injury there? Or you think he's back 100%? Well, we've seen him, of course, in competition in, in New Japan. And he seems to be okay. What do you think, Steve? I, game face says he's okay, but, you know, when you're wrestling for the, the greatest prize in professional wrestling, you're, you're going to put on, no matter how hurt you are, you're going to put on the, the game face that everything is all right. He's not taped up on his shoulder, neck area, which is great because it's no longer a target for Adam Cole. So even if it does hurt, Adam Cole has to now know that eh, maybe it doesn't hurt as much. And O'Reilly looks like he's got a some swelling around his left eye. We we'll have to keep an eye on that. And they are well, Bobby Cruz down. and yeah. Kerry Silken. Everybody get out of the way. Comes. Oh, Riley looked to charge, but Cole cut him off. Oh, oh overhead belly to belly on the floor. Oh. Could feel the air just pour out of Adam Cole's lungs when he hit the deck. What do you think about Adam Cole's body? Do you think that there's an injury there, perhaps? Do you think Kyle O'Reilly, from his history, knows the weak point in Adam Cole? I can tell you this, he's been through a gauntlet over the last couple of months for world title challengers. Like uh, Silas Young and Jay Lethal, they have pushed O'Reilly. They have pushed Cole to the limit. All right, let's add Will Ospreay to that list. Yep. Both men know each other so well. So even if they're not showing signs of past injuries, the scouting report that they do on each other is pretty thorough. And Steve, of course, we talked about the, the reactive style, the hybrid style of O'Reilly. He's going to seize upon opportunity as it presents himself in this match, is he not? Oh, absolutely. And the, the hatred. Oh, oh wait. We're naked. Straight Man. out of it, though, smart. The true hatred for these two, you know, it, it could outweigh. Oh, oh, wow. What velocity. That looked like he landed on his shoulder as well, fellas. Mark my words, I've had injuries in my career, and once you're hurt with a serious injury, you never forget it. Absolutely, and it's something you become gun-shy about. You know, Nigel, I feel the same way. Let's go to the replay here. Cole pushes O'Reilly oh. down. Yep. Look like the left shoulder, elbow. Yeah, he goes right to the left shoulder. Don't think Cole yeah. doesn't know this. Yeah, perhaps. Collarbone, I'm not quite sure. It's a, it's a trouble spot, though, that and, uh, now Fortune smiling upon Adam Cole as it so often has throughout his career. Not going directly for that shoulder, though. Questionable tactics, I think. You look at the, the journey that these two athletes have been on, of course, is future shock. They were in an opening match, in the final battle here, and it again, the crowd look at the guns the crowd of course was not kind to them at first they were virtual unknowns at that point absolutely I mean they started from the bottom 
What a journey it's been for Kyle O'Reilly, though. Oh! You're not in my league, Kyle. You're not in my league, he's saying. Oh! Some of that. That was rude. Cole blocks, the, or excuse me, O'Reilly blocks the kick. Oh, accent smash! Oh, man. Three for three. Oh, nearly knocked out by the volition itself. Both these guys very methodical, though. No one's making a huge mistake early right. on. Yeah, we saw that there. He's got the bell. Yeah. Question is, does O'Reilly no. see it? No idea. Oh, no! Right! Oh, he just Look cracked like him. him in the oh, eye. That belt that. just it's hit legal. him. Looks like sure it hit him is. right by I'll the do eye. The you don't need to do that I'll do whatever the hell I want. And you know, that belt is layered. You know, that, that thing could, man, that could break your nose. You know, you bust the tooth. You don't need to do that. Kyle yeah. wanted it. You know, a concussion could happen through that. Yeah, the, the question is, what kind of shape is O'Reilly in after the belt just cracked him? Was it over the eye? Was it? It looks like he's trying to get to the other side, maybe. Any way he can get away from. Oh, oh, oh that belt oh. caught him. That belt did catch oh, him. No. Is that over the eye, Steve? I can't tell. I can't tell either. I think he's. Trying to keep his head down so that Cole doesn't see the laceration. Oh, no. Yeah. This isn't good. Maybe it's up in the hairline. I can't really tell. I don't know if he caught it. Like, I'm looking at the right eyebrow, maybe. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. You know, not only is he, he might be concussed, but, you know, I know from experience that you catch that blood in the eye, it's going to impair your vision. There's a hush falling over the arena. O'Reilly, look at that. Todd Sinclair may want to stop this. This is, man, be careful what you wish for because your wish could come true. He asked for no DQ. At the yeah. same time, Todd Sinclair, he has the possibility to stop this if he feels that Kyle O'Reilly can't adequately defend uh, himself. See, now this, again, Trash can under the ring to collect the streamers now becomes a ready-made weapon. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to need a doctor out here. Oh. And as we remember from their hybrid fighting rules match that was so infamous and well publicized. Now we saw it highlighted here. The doctor nearly came down and stopped the match. Absolutely. I was backstage that night. I was concerned for Adam Cole. He had lost a tooth. Lip needed stitches. Now we see referee Paul Turner came down to help. And man, Cole is in full control. Oh, look at that. You can. Looks like he is lacerated in two different places. And again, like you said, that the way that belt is, is fashioned, it can catch you on all sides because there is metal jutting out. That's why Cole swung that thing with reckless abandon. With malice. Oh. Look at this, though. Nigel, look at this. Come on. Oh. Uh-oh. Well, he's just firing him up. Well, you pissed him off now, Adam. Making him more angry, and now the kicks and the strikes. Oh. Oh, 
O'Reilly doesn't need a belt. He doesn't need a chair. He's got to wipe that blood from away from his eyes. But the more that his heart beats, the faster it beats, the more he's going to bleed, depending on where that cut is on his head. Oh! oh! Through the chair! Look at that, they bent the chair. Well, there we are, he's going for the V-bar. Oh! Oh! Cole hitting the cut! Oh! And that forces O'Reilly to break the hold. You see the blood-stained bottom of Adam Cole's boots. Oh! Straight away into the armbar. That looks like he's got an extended. What on earth is going on here? That arm could snap at any second. I don't know, fella. That looks like a, a full extension of that armbar. I don't know if he popped that joint out. You see Cole went right to that elbow, too, as soon as he got it on the outside. Cole's arm is limp now, understandably so. Yeah! Oh! And now his chest caved in by that Kyle O'Reilly. Uh, oh, Kyle yes. can barely stand. Would not surprise me if he's got some kind of a concussion. Yeah, I would totally understand, you know. It's not the, it's not the finish you would want to see, but for the sake of Kyle O'Reilly's well-being, if they stop this match. This on that drop kick through the Let's take the replay here. Kyle O'Reilly drop kick oh! into the oh like rammed it into his ribs. We talk about the belt. I mean that trash can can lacerate a stomach and everything as well. Mm. So now I what in the world? Oh stuff. I've had matches like this in this very building, and it's not for the faint of heart, it is. You do not come out the, a better man. You know, you, you come out bruised and battered and scarred. And, but you do it for the love. You do it for that world championship. This is what this title means to these two, putting their bodies and souls on the line. And again, Kyle O'Reilly asked for this in this no rule scenario for the exact reason we speculated on. Adam Cole swung that world title belt straight into the face of Kyle O'Reilly. Would have welcomed an automatic disqualification, but such is not the case now. And after everything that Cole has done to Kyle O'Reilly to prevent him from becoming the world champion. Great evasion for O'Reilly. You saw him there put his feet inside the top rope. So he couldn't get the superplex, and now, though... Oh, I've been oh, on the receiving is... end of this before. Oh! Both men through the table, though. I'm not sure who got the worst of that. I think the back of Adam Cole's head, this could be it. And two, and no oh. Cole rolls that shoulder up. Take another look. Who can see here? Who is the worst? I don't know, it looked like the back of Adam Cole's head hit really hard, but both went through the table. Both men exhausted, spent. No, 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 there's oh. another table. If one table doesn't do it. Oh, that low blow again. Would have been a disqualification. Todd Sinclair saw it, but now, no! And the response from O'Reilly. That's it, that's what we're gonna get though. Oh, guillotine chunk. Oh, oh, Holy shit. Holy shit. Cole moving Holy frantically, shit. trying to get out. It looked like Cole went in head first, almost in a DDT. We can, we'll go to the replay here. Let's see. If Cole's head is completely oh, exposed. You're exactly so. right, Steve. I Almost think, in a DDT. If O'Reilly held on to that guillotine choke all the way down, that could have just been a reflex reaction from Cole from getting knocked out. Sometimes a guy gets knocked out and reflexively he reaches up with his hand, his body starts twitching. I don't know if that's what's happened there. If it is, Todd Sinclair needs to be very careful, needs to be checking on the neck now. 
Make sure there isn't some permanent damage done to Adam Cole. And I want to point out something that the tablecloth that was on this destroyed table, you, you didn't get to really see it, but Kyle O'Reilly wiped the blood away from his eyes. Very smart move oh, there. No, oh, no, Cole is lacerated now. And we saw this chain come into play in Dallas. Yep. And the same methodology that led Kyle O'Reilly to a satisfactory victory in Supercard of Honor in Dallas. That's the recipe here. But now Adam Cole, whose head was driven squarely into that table, he's been lacerated too. Another low blow. Last shot. Last shot. O'Reilly, he's done. No, he kicks out. Oh, Cole busted open. Bad too. Looks like the top of his head, maybe. Well, again, the crown of his head went into that table, Steve. You said it exactly right. And as the table broke, obviously something happened there that has left Adam Cole in this state. What the hell is this? This isn't going to be good. I don't think there are jelly beans in there. No, 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 no. But Florida Key. O'Reilly fighting. Caught him in that guillotine right, again. It. No, it doesn't have it standard. Trying for the triangle choke instead. Yes, that's in deep. That's in deep. You get a different angle on that. See how far that arm is across. You hear how loudly Todd Sinclair is screaming if Cole wants to give up because the ears no, are no, covered. No, 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 oh, no, 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 oh, no, no, no. And the 
dream has been fulfilled for the British Columbia native as Kyle O'Reilly not only has finally, finally conquered Adam Cole, he has finally become the Ring of Honor World Champion. Let's see some highlights of this match. And Cole get that super kick. Right in there, already busted open Kyle O'Reilly. But then it was Kyle O'Reilly hit the belly to back suplex on that chair. And then Nigel, when it outside, it got even more dangerous. Absolutely, Mr. But this was the big one. Who got the worst of it? But we know who got the worst of it here. Oh, guillotine turns into a DDT, slicing the top of Adam Cole's head open. But there it was, modified power bombing to thousands of tacks. But then, undaunted, the brain buster. We thought this was over, but finally, while he laid in a bit of tax himself, Kyle O'Reilly continued to apply the cross arm breaker and has done it. Kyle O'Reilly finally conquering Adam Cole, finally becoming the Ring of Honor World Champion, and no better place to do it than here at Final Battle. Friday, December 18th at 9 p.m., Ring of Honor Wrestling presents Final Battle on Pay-Per-View. After months of darkness, a new era of honor has risen from the ashes. See ROH athletes such as the new pure champion Jonathan Gresham, EC3, the Briscoe Brothers, plus Matt Taven, Mike Bennett, and many more. Find out why honor has always been real. Friday, December 18th at 9 p.m., it's Final Battle on Pay-Per-View.